Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's another example of how to work with capacitors in parallel and series. Now here's a combination problem where we have two in series here. We have some in parallel, but in one of the parallel branches there's two in series, so it's kind of a, a messy problem. And the question is how do you find the total or equivalent capacitance? So when they say find the total or find the equivalent capacitance, it means exactly the same thing. It means what single capacitor could take the place of all these capacitors in this combination? That's another way of looking at it. That's why they call it the equivalent. And equivalent, I think I misspelled the word, so let me, there, much better. Okay, now where do you start? So one way to start would be to look at these two right here. You could turn those into a single capacitor. You could look at those two right here and turn those into a single capacitor. So those are two sets of two capacitors in series and the equation that you use uh, for two capacitors in series is the product of the sum. So you say it's C1 times C2 over C1 plus C2. So first starting with these two capacitors, apply this equation to that. Let's replace that one by a single capacitor. So we can say that C total is equal to the product, which is four times four, divided by the sum, which is four plus four, which is then uh, 16, 16 over eight, which is equal to two, which means that these two capacitors in series could be replaced by a single capacitor of two microfarads. Notice that I left off the units so that it looks a lot cleaner when you work with these numbers. We're going to do the same with these two capacitors. They're also two in series. We're going to use the very same equation right here. So we can write that C total for those two capacitors is C1 times C2 over C1 plus C2, which means it's going to be four times six over four plus six, which is 24 over 10 or 2.4 microfarads. So in this case, these two capacitors in series could be replaced by a single capacitor of only 2.4 microfarads. So what we're going to do now is we're going to redraw the circuit, but replace this one by a single capacitor and this one by a single capacitor equal to these two values. Okay, so then the circuit will look like this. We'll have a single capacitor there. And here we have a parallel branch with the three microfarad capacitor there, and then the equivalent capacitance of those two over here, and then we complete the circuit. Now, to help us figure this out, we can now say that these two here are now turned into that one, and these two here are now turned into this capacitor. All right, that means that this has now become a two microfarad capacitor, and this one here has now become a 2.4 microfarad capacitor, and this capacitor has not changed, that's still a three microfarad capacitor. All right, we're getting closer. Now the next step here is to look at these two in parallel, and of course capacitor in parallel, you simply add them together, which means you're going to take these two and turn them into a single capacitor equal to the sum of those two, and we can say that C total here would be equal to C1 plus C2, and in this case that's equal to three microfarads, plus 2.4 microfarads, which is equal to 5.4 microfarads. So now we're going to replace these two by a single capacitor equal to 5.4 microfarads. And so we redraw the circuit again. So now we have a single capacitor right there, and these two in parallel will now be replaced by a single capacitor here. This is still the two microfarad capacitor, but these two combine, let me get my red pen out, these two combined right here are now going to be replaced by this one capacitor. And this capacitor is now equal to 5.4 microfarads. All right, so now we're left with just two capacitors and those two capacitors are in series. So again, we use the series equation and since there's only two of them, we're going to use the product over the sum method. So C total is equal to C1 C2 over C1 plus C2, and that's equal to two times 5.4 divided by 2 plus 5.4. So that's equal to 10.8 divided by 7.4. And at that point, I think I'll grab my calculator. So we have 10.8 divided by 7.4, and that's equal to 
1.46 microfarads, and that's the total or equivalent capacitance of those two. And of course, this capacitor really represents the single capacitor that can replace this whole circuit right there. So finally, we can say this whole circuit could be replaced by a single capacitor equal to 1.46 microfarads. And that then would be the final answer of simplifying this circuit or finding the equivalent capacitance of that circuit. And that's how you do that. And just to make sure you got a hold of this technique, let me try one more example like this. Kind of a, a standard or kind of an interesting example that we'll just see in the next video.